All right, so one of the main properties I want to teach you is to be a scientist, okay? So and in science, we change something and look at and observe that change. That's how you really learn, especially with this stuff. There's no books. There's no videos that are ever going to be as strong as your ability to experiment. So here's how you experiment in um, a short-term version. So if you have a light right here, right, and you go to build all, what you can do is go over to the snipping tool. So there's a snipping tool. It's located over start snipping. If you're on a Mac, oh, I guess you're not on a Mac because, yeah, the UDK doesn't work on a Mac. So if you go to new, you can go in here and create a snippet of that area. Then when you change a property of something, let's say a property of a light or a property of the world, you can then see what that change does. So in this case, I want to show you world properties. So let's go to world properties. And the first one I want to show you is ambient occlusion. Okay, let's turn ambient occlusion off. Okay. And let's do a build of the lighting. Now you can see clearly next to the example that you took before what ambient occlusion really is. And what ambient occlusion is, is, is the ability to self-shadow in areas where two things meet. Okay, So energy dies in an area. It dies between the cracks and crevices of things. Uh, and they form shadows. So in this case, if you remove ambient occlusion, you can see the definite difference between the two. Now, could you have done that without science? You know, could you have done that without like experimenting? And yeah, you could have, but now at least you can see this side by side. Another one I want to show is global illumination. But to show global illumination, I had to show you something else. So in this case, uh, type in light under packages, go to static meshes, and look for LT light. There's this little hockey puck thing. And I'm going to take the hockey puck thing and drag it out in the scene. And if you're studying one thing, study one thing. So in this case, ambient occlusion is the ability to shadow. Okay. It has nothing to do with color. You'll find that out if you just went to render the scene without it and with it, with this little light. But global illumination, we can see color. Here's how you do it. In this light, type at the top, emissive. And you can say, use emissive for static lighting. Okay. Click that on. Now, for everything within the engine, they have the actual switch, and then it has the ability to boost that attribute. So that's how, w for every property in here, you always see the bold, and then you'll see the properties of that bold. Okay, for this instance, I'm just turning it on. And for this instance, also in the world properties, I'm leaving global illumination on. Okay, I'm just going to go in this area right here and do a build for the light. All right, so now we're picking up some color from this yellow light, even though it's not a light, it's an actual material on the light onto the wall. Okay, so let's do a snippet of that, of course. And let's turn the world properties off for global illumination. Now, if you study global illumination, if you studied ambient occlusion back in Maya, you'll know that uh, those properties can transfer over quite nicely here. But th the thing is, all the verbiage has changed. 
So emissive is a new word that wasn't in Maya, um, but now it's in the engine. So all right, there we go. You can definitely see the difference between the two. Now, if you look under world properties and play around with that for a little while, because that's what I really want you to do. You know, I could go over the properties of each and every one of these, but just know that for every bold one, it turns on and off something, and then below it is the booster or attribute of it. But using the snippet tool, you can see the difference in how it works. I will say, environmental color is kind of cool, but stay away from the saturation level of it. Always go into the mid uh, white range of it. If you get too bold, it looks kind of silly. So play around with diffuse boost, uh, environmental color, um, global illumination, and boosting up ambient occlusion up and down. Do that before you go into the next video.